Hi guys, today I'll be making no churn sour sap ice cream. Smooth, creamy, sweet, delicious, delectable. No tub, no salt, no ice, no mess, no fuss. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. So we're going to use two cups of heavy whipping cream. It's just going to be a pinch of salt, so I just threw some in this bowl. It's going to be about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one can of sweetened condensed milk, and because I don't have the fresh sour sop, we're going to be using it from this pouch. It's already um, peeled and frozen for us. It's about 14 ounces. And of course, the other name for sour sop, the Spanish name is Guanabana. Yeah, I think I said it right. <laughs> uh, we're going to need a big bowl, and we're gonna store it in this, okay? If you have a regular loaf pan, you're gonna to have to line it with like shrink wrap. You always wanna use a metal bowl when mixing heavy cream. So what I've done is I've put my metal bowl and feed for the mixer in the freezer, and I wanna do this at least 15 to 30 minutes before I get started. Now I pour my very cold heavy cream into the bowl, put the mixer on high speed, and I blend away. Take a look at it five minutes later, and then right at 10 minutes it's done, we have stiff peaks and I don't want to overmix this because it can go back into like a butter type thing. Now I'm adding my sweetened condensed milk and the vanilla extract and the pinch of salt to another bowl. Now it's time to add the sour sop. Look at how the fruit looks. And sour sap has a very distinctive smell that you're never going to forget after you smell it for the first time. Very, very wonderful. Now I mix it really well with my spatula. And now what I'm going to do is pour this out into a bigger bowl because I totally misjudged the size of that bowl when I got started. And now it's time for us to add our heavy cream. So we're going to start by adding half of our heavy cream. And using the spatula, we just go ahead and fold. We're trying to incorporate the heavy cream into the custard and also to remove any lumps that may be there. So this is the second half of the heavy cream. And we're going to continue by doing the same thing, just using the spatula, chop in the middle, work our way around, and just keep folding, folding, folding it all together, and then pouring it into our loaf pan, get all of it out, clean it up completely, put some shrink wrap over the top, and then into the freezer it goes. So this ice cream takes a long time to set, so you want to get started early in the morning if you want to have it later on for dinner. If not, you're gonna to have to set it overnight, okay? So I've set it in the freezer already and it's pretty early. It's a quarter of eight in the morning and I'll see you guys around dinner time so we can taste. All right guys, so here it is eight hours later. It's gorgeous, right? Cool, I like the way it just went in. Awesome. Wonderful. You know I have better ice cream bowls than this, but I just kind of grab this. Isn't that nice? All right, guys. So there you have it. Once you try one of these no churn ice creams, I have several at the site already. Okay, so go we'll check them out. Once you try one of these ice creams, you're not gonna go back to ice creams in the tub again because it's so messy. You have to get ice. You have to put salt. You have to wash and clean up. You still have to set it in the freezer for a while after you make it. So might as well just use your hand mixer, do the heavy cream, add the sweetened condensed milk, add whatever else you want to add to make it your own ice cream, strawberries, whatever. And you can have nice homemade ice cream in no time at all. So this is going to last us for a while because it's a big tub right here. And um, not everybody likes sour sap in the house. So it's mostly going to be Joe and Jada and me. But who cares about the rest, right? If you guys like the video, hit like below for me. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you for picking up the books. And until I see you guys again, take care. Please check out my review channel right here on YouTube. It's called Bear Pantry Talk. Also, check out my vlog channel. It's called Babs Bear Talk.